Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to talk about wetsuit fabrics and take a closer look at the differences between open cell and nylon line materials. Here we have two pieces of neoprene wetsuit fabric. The brown one has a layer of brown camo on the outside and the blue one has a layer of blue camo on the outside. Pretty self-explanatory. The difference comes on the back surface. This piece is nylon lined, or double nylon as some people call it. There's a second layer of black nylon on what would be the inside section of the suit. This piece is open cell. There's nothing on the back. It's just the raw neoprene rubber. It has a soft, spongy, sticky texture. Those of you who wear open cell suits will know them well as they need lubrication to put on. You absolutely cannot put them on dry. A nylon suit can be put on wet or dry. Once the individual panels have been cut, the next step is to join them all together. This is done with a chemical welding process. Let's take a closer look at these two panels of neoprene. Each one consists of two separate pieces that has already been welded together. Here we can see the weld line running down the middle on the brown piece, and here it is here on the blue piece. When we turn them over, we'll see it visible from the other side. On the nylon line piece, here is the weld seam, and on the open cell piece, it's a little more apparent, we can see it here. Welding the panels together helps to reduce the amount of water which will flow through the suit. It's the first step in joining everything together to make up the suit. Once the panels have been joined, the next step is the sewing. This is done for extra strength. We're going to have a look at the stitching now. These two pieces of fabric have now been sewn. We've just used white thread in this case so that it's easy to see. Let's look at the shape of the stitch. It's commonly known as a blind stitch. You'll see it moves around in a circular chain-like fashion. This is especially important on wetsuits as it allows the stitching to stretch with the suit. Neoprene is stretchy and therefore the stitching must be able to move with the wetsuit as it flexes. If you look on the back side, we can see again the stitching moves and stretches with the fabric. When we look at the open cell piece, we'll see a big difference. The outside is exactly the same as the nylon lined, but the inside is not sewn. Let's take a closer look at the open cell piece of fabric. Here we can see the trailing end of the blind stitch. If you look carefully, you'll see that the thread doesn't actually penetrate all the way through the fabric. It just hooks on the outer layer. This is why it needs the nylon lining to bite into. When we look at the back side of the fabric, we can clearly see that there's no thread penetrating through the piece of material. This is very important in maintaining the integrity of the seams. We don't want water coming through pinprick holes created by the needle. Let's take another look at the nylon lined piece of fabric. There's the blind stitch on the outside of the suit. And again, on the inside, there's the blind stitch seam again. If you look at the end of the stitch line here, you'll see how it hooks just into the top section of the piece of material. Although some people prefer open cell suits, just remember that without that lining on the inside of the suit, the soft sponge is exposed. It's very delicate, so always be careful when putting your suit on and taking it off. I hope you found this video interesting. Please let us know if you have any comments. Cheers.